Okay, I'm going to approach from this side for a change. I know it's kind of screwed up and all weird, but we have another beer from Mexico. This is another mass-produced one uh, called Sol, and this comes to us from Cerveceria Cuatemoc, Cuatemoc, uh, from Montezuma, um, which is, uh, I believe, this is brewed in Monterrey. Is it Monterrey, Mexico? Uh, the uh, brewery is a subsidiary now of Heineken out of Monterrey. Uh, they have six brewing plants, and uh, they're under the same umbrella of beers that makes Dos Equis and Tecate, which you can see everywhere. This is, uh, I guess, a little less known in um, in uh, circles in the uh, United States, I'm supposing. Um, however, this is Seoul, which is sun. You can see the picture of the sun right there. Very, very easy to find uh, in Mexico. Um this is a 4.5% ABV American adjunct lager. Mexican adjunct lager, I guess you could say. And it traces its roots back to uh, 1899. And uh, it's available in four different sizes. We're going to do the old-fashioned 12-ounce size, which I believe is what this is. This is 4.2% ABV. Um, I don't know. Beer Advocate, I believe, says 4.5. This is 4.2. Either way, I'm pretty sure it's an American adjunct. So let's... Uh, pour her into this pint glass and see what we got. Basically, you could see right through the glass, so you know exactly the color of the beer. Uh, decent kind of head uh, to it. Not bad at all. Maybe a thin kind of film. Uh, maybe about a half a finger or so. Uh, you can see kind of that regular adjunct kind of look. You could see my hand right through. It's not really uh, that appealing or colorful to the look. Maybe a little bit more of a golden color or maybe a little bit more of a, an amber color uh, than a normal adjunct but uh, not too much different than what you kind of expect from this so let's get the aroma you're getting that very kind of corn kind of kind of smell this is the normal hoppy or, or malty kind of uh, smell that you're usually used to with this uh, adjunct lager the rice grains hops, I guess. Maybe a little bit more of a darker kind of smell, almost like a Vienna lager, um, which is a little bit different, I guess. So let's get the taste now. Yeah, it's a little bit, I guess, drab is what I would say. Not quite uh, as light as a light beer, but not quite as heavy as uh, a beer, I guess, a step above it. Uh, kind of reminds me of a little bit of a lighter version of a regular Coors Banquet. Um, a little bit lighter, I suppose. It's got a bit of a, bit of a body in it, but just kind of not... Um, too memorable of a taste. It doesn't really have too much of an aftertaste either. This is a best before May of 2018. It's currently uh, April, mm, April 13th, oh, Friday the 13th. That's what day it is. So uh, this is fresh enough. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give uh, Soul a 7 out of 10. I think it's decent. For an American adjunct, it's decent. It's not, you know, going to burn down the burn down the house or anything like that. Uh, I don't know what the price point of this is, uh, usually. Um, I don't know if you're able to find it for really cheap, probably not, but there are cheap beers that taste pretty much just the same as this that, uh, you probably, you know, would be better off for the money. Um, but overall, just solid, uh, for an American adjunct, just not very memorable. A little bit of a bite, uh, to the back of the throat, maybe a tiny bit. Maybe not. And I'm getting a little bit of a tinny sensation. So, yeah, 7 out of 10 for uh, Soul.